Hello guys, uh, my name is Evans and uh, welcome to this uh, video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to start looking at the um, the A-level information technology 9626 um, papers. Um, you guys have asked me to do um, the, the uh, to do some videos on um, the A-level practical papers for IT, and um, in the next couple of weeks, I'll be looking at some of these videos. And um, um, for this video, uh, for this tutorial in particular, we'll be looking at um, paper two practical. Okay, so um, without wasting much of our time, let's go ahead and go straight into the work that we're supposed to do. One of the things that I want to um, emphasize here, guys, is that unlike the um, the IGCC ICT papers that you probably did at the IGCC level, um, this is a very strict paper. Okay, so you, most of the stuff that you're supposed to be doing, you're supposed to do uh, exactly what you're told to do okay so for example you are told to save your work using the file name given in the task and when uh, as and when instructed so most of the files that you're going to create come up with you're supposed to give them the exact file names as they are uh, not only that there will be uh, instructions that you are told to do don't just modify the instruction don't temper with the instruction and <laughs> don't adjust the instruction to suit what would look nice you're doing designing of the stuff here um, um, unless you're told to use some freestyle <laughs> Okay, otherwise just do exactly what you're told to do and you'll be safe. Okay, good. So let's go straight into what you're supposed to do for today. Okay, so you work for the University of Tawara and they're going to prepare a short video to show to marine biology students studying course unit 14C. So the original clip was filmed in a do at all in the motives. Okay, so now step number one, open and examine the file hardcoral.com dot mp4 and set the image ratio to uh, to four to three okay so remove the soundtrack from the clip and remove the start of the clip so that only nine seconds remain okay right so this is what we're supposed to do for um for this section all right right so what i'm going to do i'm going to use um uh, windows movie maker to um to work with this project you guys you're free to use any um, video editing software that you want okay and um, in um, in some schools um, you have um, Adobe packages for video editing that you are using in other schools you have Filmora and stuff um, but you are free to use um, any uh, video editing software that you find or that you are comfortable with or that uh, your school is using to teach you with okay so mine for illustration purposes i'm using um um movie maker windows movie maker it's a free package that that you can download from um um from microsoft or so and um yeah so let's add our video to um um our project so you can browse to the location where your videos are okay and select the video that you want to import and have it imported into uh, work the next thing that you're supposed to do is to set the aspect ratio for the video you're told that the image ratio is supposed to be four to three so go to project and um if you were previously working with a video which had um a, 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 an aspect ratio of 16 to 9 um movie maker will be, will have uh, 16 to 9 as the aspect ratio which is set okay so i was previously working with the video with the aspect ratio four to three and so that's why it's at four to three so um that that's not um, um um that's already set so let me say that okay but if it was like um 16 to 9 like this one um you just need to set it to four um to three okay the next thing that you're supposed to do is to remove the soundtrack um or yeah the soundtrack from um the video okay now most or let me I, may i say some um video editing software um they they actually split the channel for video and the channel for audio and so because you have these two channels you can easily select the channel for audio and delete it and as a way of removing the soundtrack from the video but in our case movie maker does not have a feature for splitting the sound and the video so in order to just disable the sound uh, from the video you simply just double click on the video and uh, cancel the volume or reduce the volume until it is completely removed okay so that is that is perfectly fine and the last thing that we're supposed to do um, is to actually trim this video. So we re remove the start of the video clip so that only nine seconds remain. Now, guys, this is very important. Um, you are told to remove the start of the video clip and not the end of the video clip. 
the common mistake that many students would make here is to actually trim off the end of the video let me just do this to highlight what i'm talking about here this is very important guys because you will be losing marks and you're wondering where you went wrong okay so the 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 part that we are supposed to trim off actually is the first part or the beginning of the video okay so let me put it in red the part we're supposed to trim actually is from here let me just do that it's from here maybe somewhere there okay and then the remaining part which i'll put in green maybe the remaining part is supposed to be nine seconds and it's supposed to be whatever would have been removed which is in red the green part is supposed to be the one that is remaining okay so let me even change the color maybe to green so this is um so this is the part that must remain okay and let's put this in red and say this is the part that must be deleted okay this is very important guys okay so we delete this one we leave this one the common mistakes that students make is to delete the last part and then they have nine seconds remaining that's 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 a mistake okay so what you need to do um um, to be able to do that, just um, go to Trim 2. And once you go, to, uh, select first of all the video, go to Trim 2. And you have your Trim um, uh, Makers here. What you need to do now is to um, uh, find a point that where you can start and end. Now, the, 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 the thing with trim, Trimming is that it only leaves, um, um, it only leaves the video um, between the start point and end point okay so if you over your mouse over the start point it says begin playing the video at this time into uh, it and then it says end um, the video and stuff like that uh, or stop playing the video at this time so what you want is where the video is supposed to start playing to where it's supposed to uh, to stop that gap in between it's what is supposed to remain or is what is going to remain when you use the trim tool the gap that you have not specified for example if i specified from two seconds to 10 seconds so any time before two seconds is cut off and any time after 10 seconds is cut off what i have is only between two seconds and 10 seconds okay in our case we are told to leave only nine seconds or the last nine seconds of the video so which means we are going to go to the end of the video which is the last point in the video which is 13 20, uh, point 24. Um, let me just put it here the last part of the video is this part okay so we are going to go all the way to 13.24 but we need to find out a value here which we can type in so that between this value and this value we have exactly nine seconds okay would you guess what we're supposed to do yeah you guess right we're supposed to subtract nine seconds from 13.24 okay and what we remain with is actually the value that we're supposed to start with or it's supposed to be the starting point okay so um 13.24 minus um um nine um you can do the math and um um it should give you something let's see um blah 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 blah, blah. <laughs> okay it should give you something like 4.24 <laughs> okay uh, yeah and I, I think 13 minus 4 is 9 and 24 minus 24 is 0 so that should be perfectly fine so what you need to do now is to click on trim okay save trim so save trim and your video is cut okay so how you can verify verify that um, the video has been cut is before you actually um, before you 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 cut this video you could have played this video to find out what sound is actually coming out at first uh, at the beginning of the video and then uh, when you cut you can also play and find out what sound is actually now coming out after you've cut the video if the two sounds don't match then you've you've cut the correct place okay if the two sounds match then you've not cut the correct place because um the beginning of the video should not have the same sound okay unless the sound is continuous like a beeping sound throughout <laughs> okay so but for now um let's remain with this one okay so i've cut the video perfectly fine you can notice down here um that the video is actually trimmed um from here the video is actually trimmed to nine seconds uh, nine seconds as you can see down there okay so what you're supposed to do now um is to go to the next part of the question and um, the next part of the question says create a title with the image brain coral and 
um, and Manta <laughs> .jpg in the background and display it for seven seconds. Place this title at the start of your video. Okay, so what you need to do is to create a title with the image, um, um, this image. Okay, so what I'm going to do is to simply just go here. Um, we are told that the image background is supposed to be uh, the picture that we're given in, 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 in question. So I'm going to add the picture, okay, to begin with. So once the picture is added, I'll drag it just at the beginning of the video. Okay, just click and drag it at the beginning of the video. And notice that um, you should have some text at this um, uh, at the beginning of the, um, rather at, on this picture, which is some title. And the title is supposed to be create a title with the image, whatever, in the background and display it for seven seconds okay so we place this at the start of your video let's check if it's seven seconds uh, by default most um, um, uh, images that you place in in um, in movie maker they're actually seven seconds okay so if you hover your mouse over there you can see that it's that uh, duration is seven seconds alternatively you can click on edit and you see that duration is seven seconds also now what we want to do is to um, Place the text hardcore hardcore um, three. So I'm just going to copy this into the top right corner or top right of the screen using an appropriate style and select and add an effect to place this title in the video. So what I'm going to do is to just um, insert some text um, on um, on on this video. Okay. So you can add some caption. Okay. And um, so the caption that you're supposed to have is actually what I've pasted here, which is simply just the um, the text there, and place it in the top corner there. Okay, so make sure that this is with some good uh, title background or title font size. So I'm going to increase the, the font maybe from that to maybe to 28, so that it is somewhat big. Okay, let's say 36 maybe. Yeah, that's that's big enough. Okay. And we're supposed to, um, now, somebody will say, why did you have to increase the phone size? This is supposed to be the title, okay? It's not just, um, that you're supposed to emphasize with the title. Uh, remember what you're doing in document production in IGCSE. Um, you guys, you, um, you, you, you'd make sure that the title stands out, okay? So the same thing that you would do here. Yeah, so now we, we're just supposed to add um, um using an appropriate style okay so the style that we done is fast fine and we're supposed to add some effect to this title on the video so let's go ahead and add some effect so um select the title and these are some of the effects that are there okay so uh, just choose some nice effect okay don't be too fancy also <laughs> Yeah, this is good. <laughs> I'm just saying don't be too fancy and I'm trying to pick up something that is fancy myself. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, that, that that's comes out very nice. It's like a real movie. Let's try to play it. Look at that. Aha, uh -huh, hard coral 3. <laughs> okay, that's very good. Okay, so what you're supposed to do now is to just, uh, let me just stop this. So let's go ahead. Uh, let's go to the question paper and um, find out what we what next step we're supposed to do. Now, guys, can you imagine? This is just six marks just doing this, inserting the background image um, with some text on it, which is going to run for seven seconds and some style. That's six marks, guys. You cannot afford to lose such marks. These are free giveaway marks. The same thing with these marks here. Okay, yeah. So even this one as well is um, some free marks. Seven marks, guys. Come on. Uh, this <laughs> Come on, guys. This is 23 marks just from here all the way here to this place. This is 23 marks. You cannot afford to give out such marks. Okay. So create a caption with the image uh, brain, uh, coral, and manta.jpg as the background and display it for seven seconds. And then place this after the title and place. Um, and and um, so it's after the title, but it's supposed to be before the nine seconds of the video. Okay. So. Let's go ahead and place this one. We'll come back to this step when we do the first part. Okay, so what you need to do now is just at the end uh, at the end of this video, you're supposed to insert the same background. I like to just copy <laughs> and paste the same background. <laughs> I mean, why should I suffer? I mean, I'm using the same picture, so you just click on it, copy it, and paste it. But let's just go and insert it again. 
okay so just insert it now it's going to be added at the end of it that's the thing with movie maker it adds every new um uh, object that you add to the end of the, um of the video so just go drag it and drop it just at the beginning uh, rather at the end of this other uh, um um uh, title okay and you're supposed to add some caption again on this one and the caption for this one is supposed to be let's see the caption is supposed to be um place two lines of the caption text identifying the university and the course details um center aligned and at the top of the frame okay so select a different effect for the caption now what we're going to do is to um get the name of the university okay which is university of tawara and the course detail which is marine biology um and it's supposed to be course unit 14c okay that is the name of um um the course okay so let's go ahead and do just that so go here inside here type university okay university um of tawara i hope that's the case then enter and type marine biology now remember marine uh, marine <laughs> marine biology <laughs> Marine, <laughs> marine biology is supposed to be um, capital, okay? Because it's a noun, okay? And um, it's supposed to be unit fourteen C. Unit fourteen C, okay? So perfectly fine. And we're supposed to place this, okay? It's center aligned as it is, okay? So notice paragraph here it says center, but notice where we're supposed to place it. it says place it at the top of the frame. Okay, so let's go ahead and take it to the top of the frame. Why can't we leave it at the bottom of the frame? Because it's conflicting with the uh, the picture background. So at the top of the frame, it's actually looking better. Then we want to put this one some, yeah, that is perfectly fine as well. Um, some effect, okay. The next thing that we're supposed to do actually is step number four. Take a snapshot of the final frame from the video and use this to create a background image for the final seven second uh, credits um, uh, page. Notice also, guys, um, that um, the in step number three, seven seconds um, by default, um, by default, um, uh, pay, um, Movie Maker adds images um, with a duration of seven seconds. So I didn't even have to do that. Okay, so. Um, probably the, the examiner, the one who prepares this um, this paper was using Movie Maker. That's why he found it easy to use seven seconds. <laughs> I mean, there's no way if he was using... <laughs> Come on, think about it. If he was using um, something like Filmora or he was using uh, an Adobe package for, for editing the video, there is no way that it can be a coincidence that uh, he can say that seven seconds of uh, the picture duration. Uh, it could have been maybe something like five seconds, okay? So, I mean, I assume he was using this. So, schools i encourage you to use movie maker <laughs> i'm just kidding okay so let's continue now what we're supposed to do um actually here is to get a snapshot of um the last part of the frame uh for the video so get click on the video and drag all the way to the end until you can drag no more the last part that you have that is the last frame that you can see here and get a snapshot of this one okay so once you get a snapshot save it okay so save it just give it uh, I don't know if you're told to give it a name I don't think you're told to give it a name so I'll, I'll, I'll leave it as it is okay um, so that I distinguish it from the, the existing uh, image but if you are told to give it a file name okay um, then you can give the image a name as you are told okay so click on save and notice that um, um movie maker automatically inserts this um screenshot that you've taken uh, snapshot that you've taken it knows that you're trying to use this snapshot somewhere um within the video and notice that it automatically gives it the duration of seven seconds and that's the beauty and the, the powerful feature of uh, movie maker okay so the next thing that we're supposed to do actually um is to let's see you're supposed to um Take a snapshot of the final frame from the video and use this to create a background image for a final seven uh, second credit page. Okay, so uh, um, add appropriate 
uh, credits to the video. Now, what it's supposed to do, guys, uh, this is very important. Now, credits, um, um, just like the name suggests, you are trying to give, um, oh, I almost said you are trying to give honor. <laughs> You're trying to recognize the work that people have done. Okay, so in a movie, you guys, if you've seen the movie, it has ended. You see that they'll put some cast, they'll put cameramen, they'll put guys, uh, screenplay directors, and stuff like the executive directors and stuff like that. Just, you know, trying to recognize people who put in um, the, the effort in trying to create this um, and this work. Okay, now, you will notice one thing about this project that we are creating is that we've not so much been given titles about or credits about the directors um, about the names of the people and stuff like that so avoid using names of individuals because you've not been told about this okay so what do you do you look out in the question paper you find out any details about um, the, the the project okay um, um, the, as you find out those details you can use those details as your credits okay I hope I've made this very clear guys okay when you use credits or when you come up with credits they must be appropriate, okay? They must relate to pr the project. I can't just put um, this um, credit and say starring Evans Chikasa, <laughs> directed by Evans Chikasa, created by Evans Chikasa. Even if you want recognition, come on, it doesn't come that easy. <laughs> you have to work for it. <laughs> yeah, good. You have to earn it. Okay, so in our case, we'll go back to the question paper and try to pick out something from there um, that we can use for the credit. Okay, so come back here. You work for the University of Tawara. Okay, so University of Tawara could be used as part of your credit if you want um, to prepare a short video to show marine biology students studying course unit 14C. The, the original clip was filmed in Adu Ato. Yeah, now there you go, you see. So we, we, we have... Um, the location where the movie was was filmed and we have a country where it was actually filmed in okay so if you come back here and you go on credits notice that you have got credits for um director starring location and soundtrack so we want to give credit to the location okay um so notice that when you try to add credit um automatically um um Movie Maker adds a blank credit with a blank background, but we told we're supposed to use this background here. So what I'm going to do is to just grab this one, drag it, um, just grab it, this one, and drag it at the beginning of this other one here. Okay, so just at the beginning there, and delete this one here. We don't need this one, but make sure that when you you must align it with um, you must align it with the beginning of this part here. And then it should be aligned nicely down here. Okay, so that's 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 that. Okay, so next thing that you're supposed to do is to type in now the credits for this. One. So filmed on location. Okay, so here we can talk about the location where this was filmed in. Come here and go here, and it was filmed in Adu Ato in the Maldives. Okay, so now I'll just copy Adu Ato and let's go ahead and just um, paste it here and put maybe Maldives as the country okay that's perfectly fine so you can sample it notice that the credits go up there and that's filmed on Adu Ato Maldives and that's that's that looks perfectly fine okay that looks perfectly fine now the next thing that we're supposed to do is to, um, let's see. So we are done with step number four, and we're supposed to take ev evidence. Okay, so evidence, export your video in um, window movie video, okay, um, which is WMV uh, format with the file name, Coro underscore, unders uh, underscore one, underscore, followed by your center number, underscore, candidate number. And we're supposed to export this as a movie um Okay, so go to file and save movie. Then I'll just use um, any of the settings uh, for computer maybe. But save type here, change it to Windows Media um, Video Format. Okay, so change it to um, save the name. It's supposed to be, let's see the name now. Oh, uh, no. Okay, so the name is supposed to be Coro underscore one underscore center number underscore candidate number so 
is supposed to be coro underscore one underscore center number five five <laughs> five five six underscore zero 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 one okay and that is perfectly fine so um movie maker exports that the next question you're supposed to do is step number six open and examine the um the file okay soundtrack.mp3 in an appropriate editing software remove the end of the clip so that only 30 seconds remain okay so this is very important guys now there are many video uh, rather audio editing applications that you can use uh, the most common free one is audacity and um yeah uh, i began using audacity when i was a young boy because at that time we felt we could do some singing <laughs> So we went to started composing some beats using fruity loops and then we would use audacity for some vocals and stuff like that <laughs> And some editing of the audio so it came it didn't come as a surprise that uh, audacity is actually what many uh, many schools would prefer um, as the video or rather the audio editing uh, software so open audacity and um um, if you're new to Audacity, it's actually a very easy um, package to use. Most of the features are self-explanatory. You don't need somebody to sit down and start teaching you this and stuff like that. Um, um, you can try out stuff. I mean, there's nothing you can do that can cause the computer to crash. So you can try out stuff and find out what you're doing. Okay, so uh, nobody taught me how to use this actually. So it's, it's, it's just out of curiosity or enthusiasm, somebody would say. So go to file and open or import okay so you're importing um, an audio file and you need to browse to the location where the audio file is so mine is where uh, mine is here um, so it is supposed to be soundtrack this one and open it so it is it is loaded so go to the next question so the question says open and examine this file soundtrack in appropriate editing software so to examine a file you simply just need to play it okay so just play it find out what's happening okay so for me it's playing in the background i can get it i don't know if you can get it because <laughs> i'm having my speakers so you have the file playing in the background and um um let me just see how much time i've used here 27 minutes <laughs> okay so because of the explanation anyway let me just stop here so I've examined it and um, what I'm going to do is to get to the next part of the question and um, actually work on um, let's see um, so open file examine the end whatever whatever okay now guys what I'm going to do now <laughs> I think I'm going to end the video here so it doesn't become very long because we are getting back to um, editing the video. So what I'm going to do is to end the video here and I'll continue this part in the next part of um, the video. So thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you shortly in the next video when we're going to continue with step number six. Okay, so uh, don't forget to subscribe, to like, to comment and share uh, this video. Okay.